Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. I had a little extra time, so I figured I'd go ahead and record my Korean skincare routine video for you. Sorry, Medusa's wanting to say hi. Had to get her out to change her water, and she clung to me, so we are out for a visit now. Okay. So the first thing is, is I do a modified hybrid um, kind of thing. So I have to explain that a little bit. Um, I actually lived in Japan for four years, so I picked up a lot of their skincare things. Um, but I really like the Korean products, most of them, a bit more than the Japanese products. There are still good Japanese ones. Medusa! Um, but I prefer the Korean products but some of the Japanese techniques. I don't know if that makes sense or not. Anyways, but I also use a lot of American products um, in my skincare routine. So the first part of a Korean 10-step skincare is to oil cleanse. You will always double cleanse. The first one is the oil cleanser, which really melts away your makeup, the dirt, the grime, all of the nastiness, and then you rinse it off and then you go in with a gel, water-based, um, clay-based, a couple of different kinds, but it's, it's a water-based cleanser and that washes away all of the extra oil. You see her? She likes to twist up in my hair. So, um, on days that I do not wear makeup, I will wash with this at night. It's just the Clinique Take the Day Off Cleansing Oil. And this is also what I use every morning. If you can see, oh, there we go, now we can see it. Awesome. Now, at nighttime, when I'm wearing makeup, I prefer to use this. And I actually have it in a smaller jar. I take it out of this and I put it in a smaller container. Um, but it's the Take the Day Off Cleansing Balm. And I just find that this um, cleans my makeup off a lot better. It melts it away really easy. I don't have to rub hard. I just gently rub around and it's gone. All right. And then I move on to, okay, this is bad. This is really bad. So I did, I was using the, this, the cleansing gel, the bitter green, but I ran out and I actually had the cleansing clay face wash up. It's a foaming clay face wash. Um, but I didn't like the little squeezy tube that is in, so I put it in this bottle. So this is not the cleansing gel that's in here, but I have used both from the Bitter Green line, and I really like them, so that works. So that, that's step one and step two. Step three is to exfoliate. Now, most people don't need to do that every single day. Um, sorry, I gotta get her out. She's Medusa, out of my hair. Come on. No, let go of my hair, please. I like my hair back. Thank you. God, she's cute, but she's a brat. So anyways, most people only need to exfoliate maybe one to two times per week. And that's great for them. That works. But for me, I have to do it more. I have to exfoliate daily. Weekly, I do a deep exfoliation. So a microdermabrasion treatment, a at-home Kim Peel treatment but I have a condition known as keratosis psoriasis, which if you're familiar with, it's where you get like the bumps on your arms and they're like these little white bumps that are, I mean, they're just, it's gross. But it's basically that my skin rejuvenates itself a little too quickly and it clogs up the pores. So it kind of, it acts a little bit like cystic acne, except it doesn't hurt, it's just annoying. I get it on my legs, and I will get it on my face. I get it on my chest. So I exfoliate a lot on a regular basis. Sorry, she's trying to wrap around the products that I have down here. So on a daily basis, I was using, I'm using this currently because it came in a FabFitFun subscription. It's the Intelligent Nutrients Plant Stem Cell Science Refining Micro Polish. Now, I will say that when I got this, I did not think that it was going to work at all, at all. It, uh, okay, again, sorry, Medusa's being bad. Okay, girl, there you go, stay there. All right, it is um, very slippery, extremely slippery. 
and it doesn't have a whole bunch of grit. On the other hand, my skin actually likes it. I need to do my deep exfoliation twice a week while using this, but on a day-to-day -day basis, this is actually really nice. Um, it's quick, it's easy, I don't have to let it sit and wait for any time, so we're good. She's not choking me, by the way, she's trying to stick her head out over here by my ear. All right, um, and then, so step four is going to be a toner or, um, or I use a facial mist at that point. I don't like to use the toners. They dry my skin out and I, then I get irritation. So I am currently using the Grace and Stella Spray All Day Rose Mist um, or Rose Spray. Um, and I use that and I just spritz it around everywhere. Once I found that after the two cleansings and the, um, the exfoliation, I don't have makeup left on my face. So the toner's not necessary to remove makeup. If you are not exfoliating daily, then you might want to go ahead and use a toner to remove your makeup. But with my exfoliating, I'm good. We don't need it. All right. Step five is your serum. Now, I get a little bit off. On this one so you're just gonna have to to you know deal with it with me all right so the first thing that I use is a hyaluronic acid and this one is by Joyal Beauty and I really like this one it absorbs quickly it's not sticky it doesn't have any extra things to it so that's kind of nice and then I have some really terrible hereditary dark circles that just try to, sorry, she's messing with the back of my shirt, it's weird, um, that just, they won't go away. And then I also have um, some hyperpigmentation from old um, scars and just kind of age spots. You know, it happens. Sometimes I forget to wear my sunscreen. Um, and so I have started actually using this one, I tried it out. It is a vitamin C serum. Um, and it's got vitamin C 20 E and hyaluronic acid. So I will actually use this directly after this, which I know is doing double serum, but yeah, whatever. It's okay. I don't care. Um, and if I do a mask, um, I actually just got in my, uh, used for the first time today, I actually used the Elemis Veggie Mask. And I did that directly after I did my um, exfoliating. And then I sprayed the rose mist spray on there. So like, that's the thing. I kind of alter it. The Japanese have a slightly different um, set to how they do it. She's just getting warm in my sweater. It's cute. Um, and then, so step, what was I on? Oh no, I missed a step. I'm so sorry. I missed step five. I was going to say step five because I was counting, but I told you step six. Step five, essence. You have to have the essence. Trust me, I don't know why it works, but it works really well. So after my spray, I let that dry. And then I use an essence. I am currently using the Time Revolution First Treatment Essence. Um, it's by Misha. There is a SK2 one that everybody swears by. Um, this is the poor person's version of that. So I can't afford to spend, you know, 50 to $100. This is 20. <laughs> A little more affordable, but for me, it works. So I'm not going to mess with it. Unless somebody wants to send me an SK2 to do a side-by-side -side comparison, I'm okay with that and it works. Then we do the serums and I do the two of them right now. And then it is time for a moisturizer. Now for me, or well, step seven would be a sheet mask. Um, this is going to be really bad. Please, please husband, do not be mad at me. This is my sheet mask collection. I have a lot. All right here, they go back. Oh, and then there's a whole bunch on the sides right here too. So my sheet masks are, um, for me, it's my relaxing time. I do not do a sheet mask every day. 
Um, I found particularly with the rest of this, if I do it every day, um, my skin, how do I put it? It gets, I guess, over moisturized. Um, and it makes it so that when I put my makeup on, it kind of slides off. And I don't like that. I want my makeup to stay when I put it on, so I don't do it. What I do do is I only take a shower once a week to wash my hair. Every other day of the week, I take a bath. And a lot of those days, I will put on a sheet mask in the tub, particularly if I am... Um, just tired that day. So I have from the I Do Care line, I have, let me just pull them all out for you. I have a ton of different ones from the I Do Care line. So they have, and this. All right, so these are the I Do Care lines and they have it in the zone, which is a pore tightening tea tree mask. A nourishing olive mask, all of about you, a brightening citrus lime mask up all night, a hydrating lotus flower mask made with eucalyptus fibers um, is the morning dew, a firming kai berry mask, and a de-stressing mugwort leaf mask. By the way, this unwind one is one of my favorites. I'm almost out. I want to cry. Um, so I have a ton of these and I have them all organized so that I literally reach over and this is a little shelf that's right by my tub and I will just reach over and grab the mask that I want um, to use right then after I've gotten in the tub because I'm not going to remember to grab one before I get in the tub. But then I also have just a ton of other collagen, um, different ones. That's from Bath and Body Works. It's the red wine sheet mask, which is just a little bit perfect for me. Um, I have like a lavender 